been growing for 18 years. We, uh, we, you know, we're a small organic fruit and vegetable farm. We do a uh, broad, broad array of vegetables as well as uh, stone fruit, uh, peaches and plums and apples, uh, as well as strawberries. Um, and we, uh, we primarily market through a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture. We've got about 250 families that get produce from us that way. And we also go to the Saturday Farmer's Market uh, here in Ithaca, which is a, a really fabulous market. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to the Piggery. What can we get you? Right, so CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. The idea is that people are buying kind of a share in your farm and so they kind of invest at the beginning of the period and then for 12 or 24 weeks um, they get uh, basically a certain share of everything that we produce every week. So in practice everybody gets a bag and it has um, a handful of about three or four things every week come right through. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely been a, a steady increase in, in CSA, the number of shares people getting vegetables through CSAs. Uh, I've heard some pretty uh, incredible figures. You know, several percent of the county, uh, you know, it's not an insignificant amount, you know. And if you add it onto that, you know, people who are getting their farm produce, you know, directly from a farmer at farmer's market, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of people. And, and it's been a steady trend, you know, local, I think local has kind of eclipsed organic in a lot of ways. I mean, they, they obviously they overlap a lot but uh, you know, it's really the end thing. It's, it's very time consuming. Um, the CSAs are very time consuming. Um, not even so much putting them together, but selling the shares and then all the bookkeeping and the you know, record keeping and email reminders and questions and website updates and just on and on and on. The whole purpose of a CSA is to um, connect with your local farmer, um, get local veg vegetables that are healthy, fresh, organic, um, you know, cut down on that whole idea of getting your groceries from some faraway place. And in addition, um, it's usually much cheaper in the long run. So since you are here every weekend, you just go to the farmer's market and you collect your share. And um, so we signed up in May and it lasts all the way to the first week of November. We had enough to freeze and make soups and like save for the winter, so it's it's an abundance because typically um, they have a lot of excess veggies, so they say take as much as you can. So I, don't, I just love to see the customer's face when they open up the bag and see what they're getting this month. You know, oh this or oh pork chops or oh brisket or oh how do I cook that? You know, <laughs> I think CSAs are mainly important because. We need to start to understand where our food's coming from, and I think there's been this large disconnect over time because it's just been the convenience of going to your grocery store and being like, I want this, and I take it, and you don't acknowledge where it came from or the work that's went into it, and maybe some of the chemicals used on your food, and it's this disconnect that we need to acknowledge. I mean, Ithaca is very fortunate to have uh, such great people that support the local farms. Um, Without them, I mean, we wouldn't have survived a month. Yeah. Oh, there we go.